of the questions we get asked a lot is, what does a full-time realtor do during the day? So today we're going to be sharing a few things that we do throughout the day, but changes constantly. By the way, this is not selling something. That's one of the <laughs> things I hear the most. It's, oh, it's like selling some knife. It's not. <laughs> Now 5.30 a.m. I'm headed to the gym and I feel, I want to show you guys this, I feel that my morning routine is the one that has helped me stay sane in this profession because quite frankly it's extremely lonely, very stressful and being able to prep my brain Prep my soul, prep my body has been instrumental when it comes to being able to perform at top levels. So the morning routine basically starts at 4.30, then coffee of course, water, meditation, but this is honestly guys my happiest moment of every single day of my life. So cold calling is a part of our day. And that's, <laughs> and that's the part I honestly hate yeah, about not your favorite work. Thing to it's do. not my favorite thing. It's the accent, it makes me insecure. It makes me very vulnerable uh, to cold call. Plus, I don't like to call strangers, period. You on the other hand. <laughs> me on the other hand, it's interesting though. You gotta remember that when I grew up, I stuttered. And so sometimes when I get nervous, I can still kind of feel that that, that you know little Tony coming out mm -hmm. in my voice mm -hmm. so it's not as easy it's not that easy it's mm -hmm. just that you just have to do it. We're at a Brokers Open at Arden Oaks very amazing neighborhood in high demand for the clients that we have that's why it's so important as luxury agents to tour these kind of properties and this one in particular Tony 6,000 almost 6,000 square feet uh, but the owners didn't miss anything nothing stunning nothing this is a contemporary home in a beautiful neighborhood the lines the light i mean the backyard the lighting is what i'm enjoying the most like you, there's lights where sometimes you don't even think about putting lights absolutely <laughs> and you know what there would be no reason for you to leave this home from the inside to the outside how everything just marries perfectly together wow definite wow factor you know it's so important to do inspections you know not only when you're representing the seller to get those inspections done, but also the buyer. And the buyer definitely needs to do the home, the pest, if there's a fireplace, do a fireplace inspection. You know, make sure you uncover any issues uh, that, might, that might arise. And right now, a lot of buyers are choosing to waive their inspections, but again, it's so important to be informed. It's a huge amount of investment for most people. And when you do have those reports, you know what you're getting into. And at that point, you take a look at what any issues are there, and then you can address them and hopefully get them rectified before the, you know, before you close that score. You know, we just got back from a training on ADUs and Prop 19, and you know, it's just so important to keep on top mm -hmm. of everything that's going on in the world of real estate, uh, so that you can kind of help educate your clients. Um, and point them really in kind of in the right direction. Marketing for sure, it's a, I would say, one of the most important components of what we do for a living, uh, especially when we're listing properties because it's not like a cookie cutter kind of thing. No. You have to be really specific with your listing in order to sell it fast. Every single property is unique. And so you've got to take those unique qualities of that property apply it into your marketing in a way that when somebody sees that, they go, wow, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the home that I want. That's the property that I want. And you can't do that in a cookie cutter fashion. It doesn't work. And every time we have a, we have a listing, we have a, a, a very thorough marketing meeting with, with our teammates uh, to see how, what is the best approach for that property in particular. We're not talking about your regular video, the high, uh, the high resolution pictures, aerial shots, that's just, that, that's just part of the component. Yes. But what's more important is the story behind the property, how we're gonna be able to show it through videos, custom videos, and also target it, that demographic group that would fall in love with that 
particular property. Absolutely, and that's where the teamwork comes in because everybody has a little piece. Mm -hmm. Everybody brings a nice little component to what we're putting together. Mm -hmm. And then like you just said, that's how we create the story for that property. And sometimes we even use the sellers in mm -hmm. the story uh, on video just to talk, just to share what they love and have loved about about their home over the, over, over the years. My workouts definitely don't start in the morning. When I wake up around at, uh, at 6.30, I get my, my wife's lunch ready for work. I also get my daughter's lunch ready for school. And so that takes me about 40, 45 minutes. And then once I get all of that done, I get into the office. And so my workout time is actually in the afternoon. And uh, fortunately, I'm about five minutes away from my gym. Uh, so I just jump in my car and I get in there and I get my workout on. Uh, usually around uh, four o'clock or so. It's a, it's a good time of the day for me. Uh, it just I just feel just more awake and I just feel like uh, it's something that can just get me through for the next couple of hours when I get back to the home office uh, and continue my work day. So again, not a morning guy. I'm not getting up at 4.30 like my partner, uh, but uh, I'm definitely getting to the gym because it's very important uh, to keep your mind and your body sharp. The life of a realtor means that you've got to have some flexibility in your schedule. And our team decided that we we're going to help a seller out by getting them more traffic. So instead of going back to the home office, I decided that I was going to get ready and do a sunset open house for these sellers. Hello guys, this is Tatiana Bedoya along with Tony Estigoy and we're both luxury property specialists right here in the Sacramento region. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that bell icon and subscribe for weekly local content. And if you're looking to buy or sell in the greater Sacramento area, please be sure to reach out to our team and we'd be more than happy to help.